He's very like happy-go-lucky, and I'm the type of person that likes to tear people down. I'm yeah. a really likable no, person. I like if you ask my wife, uh -huh. oh, yeah, but she's an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> From the basement of a pretty normal office building in New York City, it's Shoot Your Shot, Thrillist Boozy Trivia Game Show, with your host, Will Fulton, and special guest, Timothy De La Ghetto and David Soap. Cheers, and remember to tip your bartender. Hello, I'm Will Fulton, and this is Shoot Your Shot, the trivia game show where everyone drinks a lot. Hopefully we all become best friends by the end of it. Yay! Hello. Today, I am here with Mr. Timothy DeLaghetto. Hey, what's up? Good Hello. to be here. And Mr. David So. How are you? Shake my hand there. You've probably seen these multi-talented dudes all over the place, YouTube, MTV, and definitely on Thrillist's own Send Foods. You look like a geisha. The jiggle, the brisket jiggle. Oh, yeah, look at that. You see Ooh. that? Ah, ah! <laughs> uh. Yay. Yes. How are you today? So good. good. When was the last time you were at a fake bar? Uh. For real. I don't know. Never. <laughs> when was the last time you guys took a bunch of shots? Uh, Yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Charge it to the Thrillist card, too. That's what I try to do, and they say no. Here is how this show works. We're gonna ask you a bunch of questions. You get the answer right. I have to take a shot. Oh. Yeah. You're drinking, too? I'm drinking with you. You get the answer wrong. You both have to take a shot. We have a very special cocktail made just for you. Spicy, spicy booty. booty. How'd you know we like spicy booty? Like to eat the booty. Eat the booty first. Okay. That's what I do. Eat the booty like a man. What do you think this is gonna taste like? Booty, hopefully. Well, let's get started. First question for David. In Timothy's very first YouTube video, oh shit, what did he do to make his mother smack him in the head kind of hard? Damn, that's a fucking hard question. That's dude. very specific. You want to get you drunk? I don't know what that video is. Mm. Do you know the answer to this one? Yeah. Okay. Is, but this is a deep cut. A. He rhymed tree sap with "I'm about to make that booty slap." Mm, B. Said she looked like Edna Mode from The Incredibles. No, I think she would like that. C, twerked profusely. Or D, she just walked in and hit him unprompted. C, twerked profusely. <laughs> <laughs> You're wrong. <laughs> what was it? Let's say she looked like Edna Mode. And she thought you said look like an animal. Oh, that's not fair. Well, let's drink. Eat a little booty. Cheers. Cheers, my friend. Ah, uh, to another day of Send Foods. Oh, I got a kick to it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is spicy. Oh. Yeah. That's oh, a after a day of work booty right there. Yeah. Really it tastes good, good though. Ah, ah, ah. Timothy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't know shit. 2008, about. one of David's earliest stand up videos. Mm -hmm. David told the crowd he was a good singer. False. No, not it. Not yet. Oh. Hold on. What very smooth RB hit did he sing to prove to the crowd and the world that he was indeed a good singer? A, I Wanna Know by Joe. That's not it. B, You Remind Me by Usher. That's not it. C, I'll Make Love to You by Boys to Men. Okay, possible. Or D, The Devil Went Down to Georgia by the Charlie Daniels Band. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm in between either Boys to Men or Joe. Why no Usher? I've never heard him sing an Usher song. I'm Ooh. sure he knows Usher songs. Never heard him sing an Usher song. Damn, this guy's, this guy knows me. I'm, Who's I'm, he? I'm a little touched. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go with Boys to Men because I feel like that would mean he could do more runs and he likes to do runs. I'll make love to you. Are you telling me you'd make love to me or is that your answer? Both. Okay. Yes to the first one, but you're wrong. <laughs> it was Joe! It was Joe! God <laughs> Tell me what I gotta do to, to please you. Uh, baby. We're gonna get Soon. That's actually me and my first girlfriend ever, my freshman year of high school. That's our song. Oh, really? Tina Park. Shout out to Tina Park. <laughs> you still talk to Tina? Uh, no. Absolutely not. That trash bag. They, no, she's sorry, nice. Tina. Oh, she's nice? She's nice. Oh, I'm sorry. I we thought... were 15. Oh, I thought things went bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> that <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Shotgun. Oh. That worked out really well. <sighs> so. I, I, I. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have been on YouTube for a long time. How do you feel about entertainers that use it as their platform for exposure? It's yeah. great. <sighs> Especially for us in a world that I feel like there weren't a lot of roles and, and parts for Asian dudes. YouTube mm -hmm. was perfect for like Asian comedians and I was rapping back then to really put our faces out there, reach an audience that would have never found us before. That drink is spicy. What the hell, dude? <laughs> Just <laughs> dip the devil's <laughs> in there? God but spicy butt. Question the third. You guys can work together on this one. Oh okay. my gosh. Amer excuse you. American food festivals were created in reaction to what major moment in US history? What? A, the Great Depression. That was my first thought, but can't be. B, 
the Civil War. That doesn't make sense. C, the invention of the deep fryer. Come on. That'd be hilarious if that was it. D, Janet Jackson's Nipplegate, Super Bowl 38. I want to say the World Wars. I'm saying Great Depression. Just to be clear, the World Wars wasn't an option. Oh, was it? What'd you say? <laughs> I don't know what you mean, the World Wars. Civil, War. Civil Wars? Both of them? I don't know. I want to say the Civil I say the Great Depression. Because people War don't different. have food, so it's like, how, how about we throw a big yeah, thing yeah, where people yes, can yes, come yes. get little bits of food for cheaper. We're gonna go with Great Depression. In your stupid face. You are absolutely right. Whoa! Even your explanation was right. This is for me. Oh, okay. Yeah, you yeah. gotta take both of our Cheers. names, right? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. My lips burn. That's probably not the drink's fault. Oh. Center foods. You gotta go all over the country, go into food that's spicy. Yeah, I told going you. Going to food festivals. When a food festival is done right, do you actually think it's good for the food community? Yeah, I think so. One of my favorite restaurants in San Diego now, we found from oh. a food festival. Even just beyond it being great for restaurants, it's actually great for the home chef. Smorgasburg is a great example of that. There's vendors out there that, albeit they never had a restaurant before, and they actually used Smorgasburg as a way to try out their food, and now their businesses are booming. Yep. A lot of people think that if you go to culinary school, it means that you're gonna be a great chef. That's asinine, because that's like saying, if you go to college, you're automatically a smart person right. and it's not true yeah so a lot of these home chefs have a lot of great things to offer but we've been to some shitty ones David sometimes when you go to these food festivals it's literally whoever set up the the event they just want to make a quick buck before we actually came with Thrillist we had this waffle and beer festival mm -hmm. which was literally people just got eggle waffles and they just put it into whatever that they had yeah it was terrible and I openly said it to their face <laughs> so we're gonna bring in a wild card to this game I call it the truth Elizer. I have this breathalyzer. So you can call someone out, and if they have a higher BAC than you do, they have to pull a truth card. Can I see what mine is right now? You can definitely see what yours is right now. Ooh. Point zero. Oh, you can still drive. You can still Two. legally can still drive. drive. Zero. Yeah, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Then Did I mention whoever has the lower point. BAC has to take two shots? <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't know the rules of the game. He didn't know the rules. I'll also do one. Yay! Yes, cheers. Three no. best friends. He's less drunk, so he had to take shots. You're more drunk, so, so you, you have to answer a truth question. Tim, do you think David gets upset when you get recognized more than he does? <laughs> oh yeah, let's take a selfie, sure. One, two, three, Tim's famous. Yeah. Where's the camera at? I'm so sick of this shit. Yes, he does get mad. Of course I'm famous. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to another question. Which of the following is not a real food festival? A, the giant omelet celebration. B, the testicle festival. C, the nothing but Pez festival, like with a Z. D, the roadkill cook-off. I say Pez festival. Take Are you, you, uh, you really? I've seen people eat roadkill before. Enough for a whole festival? But here's the thing, Ooh, Pez kill. community is deep, bro. But like, what would you do in a festival with it, though? Here's the thing about you, man. You're so fucking convincing. I don't know what to feel anymore. <laughs> you say things and I'm just like, you know what, he's probably right. Let's rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Ah. Uh. Rock, paper, scissors. Ah. Ah. Who huh? doesn't say shoot? I like to get to the point, yeah, all right? Yeah, I've never it's... shoot in my life. See, Pez, Pez Festival, Festival does is, not exist. It's fake, yes. You think that's the fake one? That is, that is, that is, that is what's up, why? You are <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> Ooh, damn! Now you drink that, I'm have it burn your insides. <laughs> This is just for Timothy, but if you answer <coughs> wrong, you both have to take a shot. Timothy, what is the name of David's soft serve restaurant in Koreatown, Los Angeles? A, Girls and Swirls. B, Soft and Chili. C, Drips and Swirls. D, David So's All American Sloppy Ice Cream Emporium. <laughs> oh. Damn, you should have made it bad. I'm glad you gave me the multiple choice because it definitely slipped my mind for a <laughs> second, but it's C, Drips and Swirls. You are absolutely correct. Mm -hmm. You're a good man. No, I'm taking shots. I feel like I'm almost taking more shots than you guys. Oh, for sure. Now stop talking and drink. <laughs> Shut up and drink, you <laughs> Owning restaurants and working with food. Did you ever think that's something you would do when you were younger? Is it something you just kind of fell into? I'm very weird, right? So I'm, I'm a type of person that just, if I feel like I want to do something, I just, I drop everything and I just do it. He's an impulsive person. Very impulsive. Food has always been something that's been a part of my life, but I never wanted to make it work. But what I found was I found a lot of great partners and we just, we just been expanding and growing and it's just been a really, really fun experience. Like I, I really enjoy when I create something and people walk away with a smile. And I think it's the same satisfaction I get when I do comedy. I, I've made a lot of mistakes and from those mistakes I've learned and I just said, you know what? I learned from those and I'm gonna try it again and now I have like three or four spots that are open that are very successful. The so. jiggle business did not work out. It did not. <laughs> Apparently I didn't jiggle enough. <laughs>
new segment. Hot takes or hot takes? You have to answer a pretty tough question, truthfully, or another flight of shots is yours. I can mm. tell if it's a truthful or not. Oh. <laughs> Who wants to go first? I'll go first. Okay, David, so. Do you think at the end of the day, you're funnier than Timothy is? <laughs> oh, that's a good question. Oh, he's definitely sharper. You, would you say so? You're definitely quicker on your feet. Yeah? For sure. Because you you can go to the high, you can insult, but then you could also do the other way. All I can do is insult the f out of somebody. <laughs> People so, would say that David's funnier than me. Oh, you think that? You know, I'm not the funniest person. I think I'm just really likable. Humor is so subjective. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of like comedians out there who I think are the biggest piles of trash, but they have a fan base. And what I've learned to do growing up is like, I used to be super close minded. I was like, this person is objectively not funny. It doesn't work that way. It's like Chappelle, right? Chappelle is like the pinnacle of what comedy is to me. But at the same time, people who I don't like, for example, like Amy Schumer, she still has fans. So obviously she's doing something right. So you can say as much as you want that you think she's hot trash. She's still selling out stadiums. So some right. might think she's fucking funny. They both make me laugh. Do you have a hot temper? Uh, I used to. It's okay. actually a lot better now. Say, when I was a kid though, I used to get into a lot, a lot of fights. So really? Like, third grade, I got removed from school because I got into too many consecutive fights. So the, the last straw for that elementary school is when I stabbed the kid in the face with like a pencil through the cheek. Ooh. And so I had Mechanical to get Mechanical or like acoustic? No, straight up like wooden pencil. I had to get stitches inside and outside of his mouth. Yeah. And then college, I had to leave. So I went to UCR. Stabbed and the guy then, with a Scantron. No, <laughs> I just put a knife to the guy's throat and I didn't do anything to it. But I had to leave that school too. Wow. Tim, your truth. <laughs> What Wild and Out cast member or guest do you like the least? Oh, I see what you guys are trying to do. Ah. This is a tough question, I'm sorry. You know what? Here's the thing. Uh, I just, um, 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 I love everybody. Nick Cannon. <laughs> <laughs> no, Nick's, Nick's the sweetest guy. I'm not trying to burn no bridges, so give me the shot, bro. Yeah, Nick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This question is about dicks. Ah, okay. nice. Which okay. of these is not a real tweet from a real person regarding Timothy and male genitalia? Interesting. A, at Timothy Daily Ghetto, has given such a vivid description of his dick over the years <laughs> that we all pretty much know what it looks like. That's real, that's, that's for sure real. <laughs> B, Timothy De La Ghetto can suck a dick, all caps, by the way. I don't know if that's a statement or a question. Yeah, that, that sounds, that sounds like it could be real. Okay. Yeah. Oh, really? See, I think the word penis is cute ever since Timothy De La Ghetto used it in his cute story, LOL. I think that's real. D, do you guys think at Timothy De La Ghetto will ever stop making the same joke about Thai peppers and Thai penises? That was real for that sure. one's dot, dot, definitely dot, real. For real. Though. You know what my dad says? Thai penises are like Thai chilies. They're not the biggest, but they're the most powerful. So in between B and C? I think it's B is the fake one. Y you really think people like me that much? I don't think they're that straightforward with in insults to you. I'm down for B. No, it's D. It's it's the thing about the Thai peppers and oh, the Thai Oh, that was a Thrillist writer. It was like literally me. Who was a writer for Thrillist. Tell my wife to get off Twitter, please. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you say is your least favorite comedian? The term comedian is thrown around really loosely now. Loosely, mm -hmm. yes. There's a whole world of Instagram comedians where I feel like the jokes are really uh, easy, mm -hmm. designed for like- Low hanging fruit. Yeah, just kind of like nothing's really original. So I would say, yeah, that's my least favorite genre of- He is uh, a politician, current. is he not? He's so good. Comedy. Look at that. You make me take a shot? You have to, you, you have didn't to, answer. That was a question, man. You just said a bunch of people yeah. that I'm not gonna talk about. So for me, I would say out of the people who are stand-up comics right now, I actually do like this guy a lot, but okay. uh, his stand-up just came out recently on Showtime. Uh, I thought it was pretty fucking bad and it made me sad that it was bad. It was Brendan Schaub. Brendan Schaub is a former uh, UFC heavyweight. And yeah. Joe Rogan gave him a plug saying he's super funny, that he's talented. Joe Rogan, you fucking lied. Dude. First time Joe Rogan lied, I guess. Yeah, because he's only been doing stand-up for three years and it really showed in that Showtime special. And I think that because maybe Joe Rogan hyped him up a little bit too much, he set him up for failure. But three, three years of doing stand-up from not doing stand-up at all, he really had nothing to say. It was terrible. That's mm. a very honest answer. Uh, yeah. And also yeah. a smart angle to take. You're fresh. That's why this shit was whack. Give it some time. You might be better. Yeah. You I'm know. learning a little bit from you. This is the BFF test. Oh, we're gonna ask you both a question. If you guys can get the same answer, I have to take a shot. If you differ, then you have to take a shot. It's basically to see how well you two truly know each other. How old was Timothy DeLeghetto mm. when he lost his virginity? Oh, okay. Oh, what? There's so many strokes. I might get it wrong. Okay, hold on a second. <laughs> were you 110 years old? <laughs> I know. Reveal. 18! Oh, yeah! Yeah! That's right! yeah! 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 How old were you? I was 18 as well. I was also 18. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we <bloomers>. waited. <laughs> <laughs> this 
is round two. What is David So's biggest fear? I'm scared of a lot of things. I'm afraid of love. Okay. Ready? Heights? Oh, I see. Ah, oh, I should have known that. I guess if you want to get deep, it's actually it's uh, waking up without a purpose. I feel that. That's yeah. deep, deep. That's some deep, deep shit. But on a superficial level, fucking heights, man. I'm not, look, I should have known that. You said that before. Dude, these stools scare me right now. <laughs> Last question. How many times has the word booty been said on Send Foods? You had to watch all of them and count. A. 183 times. <clears throat> B. 42 times. C, 69 times. Nice, what a coincidence. <laughs> D, honestly, we counted to 12 and then stopped watching. 42 times. I'm down for 42. 42 or it's gonna be 12 and they stop. I feel like yeah. it's such a cop-out answer that they threw it in there just to throw us off. 42 it is. It's the, it's the cop-out answer. Oh, <laughs> you motherfuckers. We're all in this together, boys. So the drink that you guys thoroughly enjoyed was made by Mr. Garen Ferry of Brooklyn's Reclamation. And here's how you make it. And now, buzzed bartending with Bill Fulton. One quarter ounce agave syrup, one half ounce lime juice, fresh cherry juice, three quarters of an ounce triple sec, then two ounces spicy tequila. I got it. I got it. That's the spicy booty. We've learned a lot about each other. We bonded. You started asking us real ass questions. Like, here's the thing. People don't think we're funny. They like us because we're real. Okay. I would hope they think I'm funny. <laughs> <laughs> what we do want you to do is sign the bar. Oh. Cool. oh. And you can write ever, whatever you want. Hey, thanks for having us. Thank you so much for coming. Remember to subscribe to Thrillist YouTube channel, right? Subscribe. subscribe. Watch, watch, so they keep paying for uh, Send Foods. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> <laughs>